Hey, this is Mike, and it's another episode of the Halftime Mike Podcast. So I'm excited to be with you today and continue to dive into our digital marketing topics. Last week, I kind of went big picture, 30,000 foot view, and talked about my uh, leadership book, uh, Add Value, Be Uncommon, 30-day guide to helping you improve your leadership skills. And uh, this week, I want to kind of you know fly back down into the digital marketing aspects of things. So if you're interested in that leadership devotional, go back and listen to last week's. Uh, you can find more details at uh, mikeinglish.com slash lead. But uh, this week I want to talk about Facebook marketing and using that Facebook marketing to grow your email list. So uh, one of the things that I always talk about in my other book, uh, which is Game Plan for Social Media Lead Generation, is the importance of your email list. And I talk about the value of bringing the pieces together. So your social media marketing helps drive people to your website where there's lead capture which get them into your email list. And uh, that email list is a great place to sell to people. That's where your your nurture uh, pieces happen. And so today I want to dive specifically into growing your email list through Facebook marketing tactics. Okay, So uh, Facebook is a great place to be for your business just because every major buying demographic is there. It's the only one that has really conquered that uh, 50 plus buying segment. If you're, you know, 50, the age group, if somebody in your target buying group, uh, interaction group is uh, 50 years and older, Facebook's the only social media network that really has captured them well. And um, it's strong in the midsection buying group, you know, the, the 25 to 50 year old, that, that segment, Facebook has got that as well. Um, it's less strong in the teenage segment, but they're they're still there. Um, they have accounts, and uh, they're mostly more on Facebook's other entity, Instagram, in that regard. But today, I want to talk about specifically Facebook, just because there's so many demographics there, and the the time spent is just unbelievable. It's almost up to 50 minutes per user per day in the U.S. now on Facebook, and they're doing that in. Um, uh, two to four minute segments so that they're picking up their app, they're scrolling through, they're taking that, but that totals up to almost 50 minutes a day, uh, which is up from 40 minutes a year ago, that type of thing, so that people are spending more time on Facebook. It's a great, valuable resource, and I want to run through a number of areas to help you grow your email list. You need to grow this list because uh, as fans, you know, you, can, you can't reach all of them all the time, but if you can get them on your email list, you can get into their inbox and people deal with their inbox. They look at their email. How many times have you checked email today already? People use email, okay? So um, one of the tactics to grow your email list is to use Facebook Live. And Facebook Live is getting a lot of attention, a lot of press uh, now because Facebook gives precedence to it in the newsfeed. People like to watch Facebook Live videos and Facebook has tools to let your audience know on your Facebook page that you are live. They, they build an audience, they try to let them know, alerts, notifications, and um, they put that up higher in the newsfeed. There's more precedent prop, probability that people are going to see your uh, Facebook Live video in the newsfeed than just a standard post, um, even an image post, that type of thing. So Facebook Live video, go live, share tips, share ideas, share things, and then, um, and then as a part of that, let them know where they can go to sign up for more updates to always be alerted to be alerted to when you're going to go live next and do that via email. So during the live presentation, you talk them through, go to, you know, mikeenglish.com slash blog and click on the pop-up box that comes there and you can be subscribed to always get the updates that come. That type of thing, that simple thing is a great way to do it. Why? Because you're getting uh, the most visibility in uh, the, the key place on Facebook and that is... Uh, with live video in the news feed, but you're using that to let them know and direct them of what to do to go over to your website and uh, That's where you can direct them to that sign up to get on your email list So Facebook live is number one Facebook marketing tactic to grow your email list um, Number two is to use the pin post feature in your Facebook page Okay, you can pin a post after you post it to the top so it stays there so if you have something that's uh, you've rolled out with your email list. You want to get people to subscribe. You can have a image post and maybe have a description in there and have the link in there that goes to again to your landing page. You can pin that post so that when people come to your Facebook page, 
that post is the top one. They can see that and they can get access to that. All right. So kind of going back to uh, number one, Facebook Live video, and number two, pinning a post. You can you can pin a Facebook Live video after the fact as a video to the top of your page. But what you do is in the description, uh, you put in the URL that you want them to go to. So it is a video, uh, but in that description, you have you describe what it is, and then you have the link in there as well, so they can click on that after they watch the video. So you make it easy for them. So pin that post. Um, the third one is on your Facebook page, in the cover image area now, they give you a call to action option uh, within your Facebook page. It's that button that's there. And um, I'm recommending that you can send them uh, to your sign up page on your website. Again, don't just send them to your um, home page, don't send them to your landing page. Uh, do it a page that's specific for these Facebook users because that way you can greet them when they come over. They click on that link to learn more, contact us, and you bring them over to your website and you say, hey, thanks for coming over from my Facebook page and I'm glad you found us here. Do you want to stay up to date? Fill out this form so you can join our email list and it, we're going to give you an update every week, you know, whatever it is, your, your time period there, but give them that type of specific message that is for them. So use the call to action on your Facebook page to take them to a specific page on your website for to, to join your email list. All right, fourth one comes back to, to um, your Facebook page using apps like TabSite, and that is a app on your page that you can integrate. So it's primarily it's gonna be for desktop users, um, but you can also share this via a smart URL in the news feed in a post, but have an app. You know how down the left side when you're on desktop, there's a navigation of uh, different features. You know, you can have your posts, you can have your videos, you can also have specific apps like, you know, email sign up, okay, newsletter sign up, um, free ebook, those types of pieces via apps on your left menu of your Facebook page. They go onto that, um, they get information. It's like a web page within your Facebook uh, page. They can sign up right there and it's integrated. Again, that goes back to our tab site application. We make it easy for you to do that and uh, we make it easy for you to uh, integrate your sign up form right there. We give you forms that you can export all the data out of or that integrates with MailChimp and um, other services like that, making it easy for you to uh, pull those people over once they have signed up. A fifth aspect that I want to talk about to use. Facebook to grow your email list is to create a group. All right, so you have your Facebook page, um, but a group is a, another level, a more a deeper level, maybe a little bit more intimate level of uh, a method to communicate with an audience. So you might want to consider also having a group, some of your, your best customers, some of your best clients that, you, that are in there, inviting people in where you give them some more information interaction. The benefit of a group is they can get more notifications from the group, and um, you can you can go live in a group there. Uh, it's a little bit more intimate experience with more notifications. And, and again, there you can uh, share information that uh, drives them from that group over to your website to that specific landing page to sign up for your email list. So think about a group. Stats have shown that uh, there's there's more engagement in groups than generally on uh, regular Facebook pages. So that's something to consider. Now. Um, that's a lot of the free options. You also can get into the paid promotional options and, and using those. Facebook has an offers type thing, so you can run an offer uh, to, to get people, give them, give them X for doing Y. When they sign up, they do join your email list, and uh, you can target those with Facebook's massive targeting in their ads manager, so I want to recommend that. Uh, a seventh one that is kind of related, because I'm still in that ads arena, is definitely you know, using paid ads, um, but maybe you want to target those who have visited your website uh, but may not be on your list. And so you can put that uh, Facebook pixel onto your website and it identifies people that have visited your website. And so when they're back on Facebook, it rolls out an ad to them and you can say, hey, you know, uh, glad you've been on our website. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to this. You don't miss out on X, Y, and Z, and that's another way to get them over there. Now, um, you know, carrying on with uh, the theme of tab site is the opportunity to number eight, use a contest to grow your email list. So you can run a timeline contest 
You can use an app to have a sweepstakes. You can have an app to use a photo contest on your Facebook page, and you can roll those out. And again, for timeline um, contests, you can you can invite them to um, like it or comment for an opportunity to to win. And then you can say, you know, for uh, to to finalize your entry, come over here and submit this form. You have a link in there. Uh, that type of two-step process and then the second one is a sweepstakes where they uh, again you put it out in the news feed that says enter to win X and uh, then you have that form you drive them via the smart URL to the form where they fill that out name email address and you know you have the terms in there that says you're gonna be added to our list we're going to email you once a week with you know X Y and Z information that will help you and grow your list that way or it can be the entrance in the photo contests and uh, those are other ways to grow your email list using Facebook marketing. Now, um, one of the valuable things I think you can do is you should always be putting out great content on your website, okay? Great content on your website, and Facebook is a great place to introduce that content. So use video, use live video, use images, and share, hey, we've got this new content, that talks about these seven points. Here's uh, the first point. Come over here to read the rest of those on the site. You have the link in there. It goes over to that. There is the um, the content, and then you have a tool uh, such as our Waftio tool, Optin Monster, those types of tools that offers a widget or a pop-up box to allow them to subscribe to get more of those. So again. Uh, Using the widget, the pop-up box is effective. Now there can be, you know, sometimes people say, "Oh, I don't like those things," and um, you have to consider that. Some you you may not like it, uh, but if the math works and they are effective, people are signing up. Should that be important to you? I'll leave it to you to decide on that regard. Okay, um, that is a number of the pieces there that I wanted to to cover today to just uh, go over simple ways to use. Facebook marketing to grow your email list. And I just want to encourage you to uh, expand what you do, but think through using the best tools on Facebook, live video, video, photos, in that order, groups as well, to build engagement, to get more people to, to view your content, but then you need to drive them over to your website, to landing pages, to areas where you have the pop-up box, that type of thing, where you can capture them. Why do you want to capture them? Is because you can't guarantee they're going to see everything you do on Facebook. You don't know where Facebook's ever going to go. Is it going to be relevant? Um, but if you can get them on your email list, then you control that list. People are reading emails, so you can get in front of them in their inbox. Want to encourage you to take those steps. And um, a, a last one that that I want to con have you consider. This is a little bit. Um, uh, seen less often, but definitely viable, and that is uh, use a text to join. Text to join to give visitors, fans of your Facebook page another option to sign up. So there are services out there that are text to join using your text messages on on a phone, and um, you can share typically a a post with a URL to do that, and allows them to subscribe. So that's a different alternative than a typical uh, sign up form. So. That's a number of pieces that uh, I want to cover. Again, Facebook marketing can help you uh, use Facebook marketing because because brands are not or people are not going to specifically buy from brands right away on Facebook. Okay, on Facebook they're there first and foremost to socialize, to see what's happening, to get information. Uh, so you want to capitalize on that by getting in front of them, giving them some good information, you know, giving them some entertainment, connecting with them, providing some value. And then moving them to your, hopefully to your website, where you can uh, get them to opt in to your email list, so that you can stay in touch with them further. And that's where that selling component is going to happen later on. So uh, just because you post on Facebook does not mean they're going to buy. It usually takes seven points of contact, and you need to nurture them along. Email is the way to keep nurturing them along. Facebook is a way to get discovered, to get connected to them, to to is to build some trust, build some rapport, build some engagement. Uh, but move them to that email list where you can do uh, more of the nurture business for selling. All right? So this is Mike, and uh, this is the Halftime Mike Podcast Show. Thanks for joining me. Hopefully this was of great value to you. 
Uh, come over to the blog post, give me comments, let me know. Appreciate that. This is it. Take care.